proving by separating into two fractions. So my purpose for this video, for the last video, and for the next videos that I will make for this topic of identities, is to show to you the many ways to prove trigonometric identities. So last time, I did it by using fundamental and Pythagorean identities. We shall still use them, your fundamental and Pythagorean identities, but at the same time, we are using some techniques from algebra. And in this example, we shall show how to prove an identity by separating the proposed identity into two fractions. You will know. You will know what I mean. So prove this. Cotangent of x plus tangent of x divided by cosecant of x is equal to second of x. To begin your proof, you will write, you will write the word proof. Now cotangent of x plus tangent of x divided by cosecant of x. You can write this. This is where the part on separating into two fractions will come in. You can separate this into two fractions. Okay? This is where the part on separating into two fractions will come in. And so from here, I will just now apply our fundamental identities. Cotangent is cosine over sine. And cosecant is 1 over sine. With tangent, it's sine, it's sine over cosine. And then again, cosecant of x, we write it as 1 divided by sine of x. Okay, I will continue here. Okay, so what do we do next? Well, this is a complex fraction, or these are complex fractions. Let us simplify them. So this division here, dividing by 1 over sine of x, is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of 1 over sine of x, which is just this, plus... So sine of x divided by sine of x is 1. So we are left with cosine of x. And in this one, sine of x times sine of x is the square of sine of x divided by cosine of x. Okay, so what do we do next? Well, when I was a student and when I was doing this on my own, I'm kind of lost. I stopped here. I, I do not know anymore what to do. But guess what? You can combine them again as one fraction. Cosine of x divided by 1 times cosine of x is cosine or the square of cosine of x. Look at that. You will combine this as one fraction. And so cosine times cosine is the square of cosine of x plus cosine divided by cosine is 1 times your numerator is just the square of sine of x. And take a look at this. Take a look at the numerator. What is that equal to? That is your Pythagorean identity. That is just equal to 1. And so, it's equal to 1 over cosine of x. And what is this? What is this? This is second of x. So, we are done with this identity. We have shown that this is equal to second of x.